What's good, y'all? This is your boy DJ Pendejo, and um, this is my top three custom variations for Nightwolf. Best variations of Nightwolf, in my opinion. Let me say that one more again. In my opinion. My opinion. Wolfie. You got Grey Wolf Sith. This obviously ain't the name for it, but let's peek the moves. Tomahawk Swing, which is his command grab, which is also his armor breaker, and Spirit Tracks, and the amplified version of Spirit Tracks. Also, before I go to my other variation, let me just say this. Like, Tomahawk Swing and Rising Tomahawk with the amplified version, those are, th that's a good combination to have. But, it's not gonna give you a guaranteed armor break if you amplify, like, Rising Tomahawk, like it would if you amplify Spirit Tracks. Cause no matter how fast, how slow, they break away, even if they don't break away, they're still getting caught by the grab if you input it correctly. It's like serious, I'm so serious. All right, let's move on to the next one, Shaman's Curse. It's just like Grey Wolf Sif, except instead of the command grab, I have his combos that are grabs, except for back three, four, one, three. That's not a grab. It still registers as a mid if they block it. So just peep game on that. But you also get, I forgot what the move is called, Splitting Edge, I believe, or Splitting Head. It's his 2-2-1-3 two, two, combo. That one has a crushing blow if you land all three hits. Like, if you land 2-2 two, two and the grab for the counter or punish, that's 21%. And they also eat 10 extra percent off of bleeding damage. Unless they do a crushing blow, trigger an animation, then that gets rid of that uh, bleeding damage. Other than that, that's still 10 extra percent that they get knocked off of. Unless their health is about to be close to, what, chip? Then it's just gonna stop there. It's not gonna kill them all the way. And then my final one that I rarely use, but I like to because it's kind of fun, Scarred Apache, which is basically his Lightning Arrow, Grappling Stalker, talked about that, and Spirit of Kiba, which is basically that wolf buff that's in his first tournament variation, Matoka Warrior. So. This one is more neutral heavy. You're not gonna get big combos. Not, you're not gonna get 30% combos with it unless you get a crushing blow off of a D2. Yeah, or his 2213 command grab. I mean, his uh, combo grab. Other than that, you're really not gonna get big damage for this. That's what the Spirit of Kiba buff is for. But you also, I'm gonna also explain that buff too in a little bit. So these are my top three variations in my opinion that Nightwolf really shines in. I mean, credit to Biohazard for using basically the command grab with um, Moonfall, cause that is a good move. But if Moonfall ain't really your thing because you do lose certain moves and certain combo strings in Moonfall. Don't go with it, just just do what I do. Just do what DJ Pendejo does. <laughs> and go with uh, my loving Grey Wolf Sith. Okay, let's get into this video now. Okay, uh, hmm. All right, y'all, let me first start by saying this. This is not a combo video. Let me say that again. This is not a combo video. If you guys want a combo video, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know on TikTok, because I know most of y'all also, some of y'all follow me on TikTok as well. Some of y'all came from TikTok. So let me know if you guys want me to do an actual combo video on Nightwolf. If you guys want me to do it for this variation I use, or if you guys want me to do it for all three variations I use. I'll just come up with the, I'll just come up with as many combos as I can for each variation if that's what you guys want. Unless you guys just want this variation, then I got y'all. But let's start real quick. I'm gonna try to make this as quick and as simple and as easy as possible. I'm, I'm very serious. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. Cause the last time I did this, I didn't make it as quick as I wanted to. I couldn't, I think my fucking video was like, fucking, <clears throat> what was it like? 50 something minutes long? So let's try to make this one not that long. So all these combos that I have up here, all of this except for Axe Blast, which is standing one, uh, one, one, one. 
that does not combo into regular spirit tracks, as you see. So that can be blocked. If your opponent knows that you're doing regular, they can block that. But if you amplify it, you can pop the combo off. All right, so let me show y'all what basic com what combos are viable and usable with this move here. All these combos that I have up here, all of them connect into spirit tracks, amplified. Even Axe Blast all the way down to Falcon Swap, all those combos will combo into spirit tracks amplified. All of those combos will combo into regular spirit tracks, but Axe Blast. All right, now let's see some combos. Just I'm gonna just start with the basic one I usually do, just to see if people are gonna break away, cause eight, nine times out of 10 people break away from this. They break away from that all the time. Even if they don't, I still got 241 off their health. Then I could pop them for another command grab, like really get the game going, really get it going. All right, now, Axe Blast. Boom, good move, 9%, and it's negative five on block. So even if they block all three hits, you're still safe to block and possibly get a flawless block into a wake up attack. Just saying. Same with natural delay. So natural delay, that combos in the spirit tracks. This also combos in the amplified spirit tracks. Now, the same way I did Axe Blast, oops, my fault. The same way I did the combo with Axe Blast, same way you can do for natural delay. So literally the same thing, do this combo, Amplify Spirit Tracks, Input um, Tomahawk Swing, sorry. Input Tomahawk Swing, boom, that's it. You just got you a little good 24, 25% combo, basic, like that's really basic. Same with Twin Hairs, which is weird because Twin Hairs combos into regular Spirit Tracks, but Axe Blast doesn't. See? Still combos into it, but I wouldn't do one one because you only get 20% off of that. So let's that. So that's good. That's cool. Sorry, I went brain dead a little bit. So tomahawk smash. You're gonna get the same thing. Same thing. Ambush punch. Boar's tusk. Violent divide. Howling wolf. Falcon swap. Same thing. You're still gonna get your combo off. I messed that up so bad, but it's cool. Y'all didn't see that though. Y'all didn't see that, so it's all right. Okay, now, y'all just saw me combo every one of these combos into Tomahawk Swing. Right? Because if y'all say y'all didn't, y'all lie. Now then. Okay, so that's, that's a regular combo. Now, if you want to get saucy, you want to be clean, you want to have dope combos like your boy, you can do any combo, but do this. That's clean, ain't it? For 33%, right? Just one bar, little extra effort. Same with every other combo. Boom, 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 boom. Same thing with every combo. Oops, I messed that up, sorry. But yeah, same way every combo. Same way with every combo. Oops, I messed that up. Really? Really, bro? Really, Nightwolf? Don't do not do this because people are watching. Oh, okay, you're doing this because people are watching. Okay. That's what's up, bro. Thank you. What the fuck? Anyway. So, yeah. You'll do it just like that. Same way. Oops. Same way. Everything. Same way, everything. That works for every single combo. You just gotta make sure you input it correctly. But I guarantee you, if you mess that up, you're getting punished. You're getting punished, ain't no flawless blocking, none of that after you do one, four, one, two, you're gonna get punished. So if you decide to do that combo, make sure you connect it, practice it. If you feel like you're not gonna connect it, cause I guarantee you're getting hurt bad. Especially if you don't have no defense meter, you're getting hurt super bad. Okay, um, let's go to the other thing now. Let's go to the main, the big focal point of this variation. We're gonna do it on random. Y'all see breakaway on random, right? It don't matter what combo you started with. Oops, I messed that up. See, caught him. 
He did a slow breakaway, caught him. He did a fast breakaway, caught him. He delayed it, but for some reason I didn't connect that. Oh wow, he definitely delayed it on that. Let me sh let me go. Let me actually hit delay. Del uh, yeah, delay. Caught him on that, and then just to show y'all as well that it does work on late. Hit it on late. Oh wow, that does not. Oh wow, that does not combo. I'm sorry. That does not combo. Or not combo, but he don't catch him. Ooh, he really does not. So it really ain't no, okay. Dang, that's, that's new to me. Wow. That's really new to me. I mean, you can catch him, but you have to dash forward and then connect that. So truthfully, I, I really thought that does work in, in mid screen, but I see it doesn't. So you're just better off. That'll work in the corner, but not mid screen. But that's fine, because nine times out of 10, people are gonna, either, they're gonna break away fast. They're gonna delay it or they're gonna go slow. So regardless of that though, you basically have a guaranteed armor break. Like seriously, li literally, not even playing. So that's, that's Grey Wolf Sif. That's, that's my main go-to variation with Tomahawk Swing and Spirit Tracks Amplified. Now, let's move on to the next one. Ah, Shaman's Curse. This was my variation before I made Great Wolf Sip because guarantee you, when customs came out, first off, nobody was really using Night Wolf like that, even beforehand. But when customs came out, swear nobody was using Spirit Tracks with Tomahawk Swing. Nobody was, except for me. Cause I'm the only motherfucker that discovered what that move really does and that that is the best pair for Night Wolf because you get that dope armor break. So anyway, <sighs> same combos literally, but I'm gonna put them up just because, but I do gotta put this up actually. So I'm gonna put that up instead. Um, that too, wing chipper, no razor's edge. Oh, it's called helm splitter. That's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but, 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 you know, we don't even need that. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Spirit arrow reflector, okay, okay, okay. So I really don't have nothing, okay, okay, okay. So, same as the other variation, like I previously stated in the character select menu, same combos, works with spirit tracks. Don't matter what you got paired with it, still works with spirit tracks. Only difference with this variation is you can, okay, first though, let me show the two moves that you get when you have grappling stalker. This is razor's edge. This is back three, four, one, three. You get 19%. Easy, 19% easy. With that, 15% easy. And peep game on this. That's a throw. That last hit is a throw. So if your opponent ducks it or blocks, it, they're still getting grabbed, because that's a throw. The only way your opponent can get out of this is if they jump, short hop, or actually no, they can duck it. I'm sorry, I said that very wrong they can duck it because it's counted as a throw. So you can literally get D2'd out of that. Um, where's the stand? There it go, movement, no, duck. Oops, let me. See? See, he still can D2 me off that. But then, see? So if they duck or short hop, you're done. You're getting punished. You're getting punished bad if they know what to do. Okay, so let me show you a scenario that could happen because it definitely can happen. Uh, Easy crushing blow. You don't even have to land all the hits. You just gotta land a throw and it has to be a counter or a punish. That's 21%. If you happen to land this afterwards, 
26%. You basically just ate 51% of their life in two combos. Literally. Like, you know how quick of a round you about to have just because you did that? You're literally two more combos away from ending it. Seriously. So here's another thing too. Now, if your opponent knows to duck this or to short hop it, you have duck, short hop, or jump, then you need to mix it up. You need to do all of them. You need to do three, 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 because they can't duck that final hit. That's a mid. They gotta eat that, what's that, 4%? Yeah, they gotta eat that like 4.5%. Even if you do that, you still gotta mix it up though. You, you have to, because if they know what to do, then you gotta mix game on them. Catch them lacking. Keep doing that until you feel like they are gonna block, then pop them off with that. Trust me, you, you, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. So let me show y'all a, a different variation of the combo I've been showing y'all. Much like how I'll end it with, um, what is it, Tomahawk Swing? I'm ending it with Helm Splitter. So let me show you as an example. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Oops, I messed that up. Corner pressure, easy corner carry. Easy corner carry, literally. And then if you really don't care about having like the position and whatnot, oops, dang, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, I'm trash, I'm so trash. Let me try that. So actually somebody online showed me this combo. So I can't even take credit for this because somebody a while back showed me this combo and I was like, that's dope, but you, you lose corner pressure. But it's still a dope combo. Look at that swag. <laughs> Look at that swag for 35. Cross up. Oop, I didn't land it. But either way, that's what you would generally want with this variation. So literally any combo, do it like that. Boom, boom. So after you do Spirit Track, it don't matter how you start it, just as long as you end it with Spirit Track, three, two, oops. Spirit Track, three, two. Actually, let me explain a little better. Boom, boom. Dash, three, two, dash in, two, two. Oops. Wow, I am not connecting that. Okay, so after you do spare traps, you're gonna dash forward, hit three, two, or three, one, sorry, three, one. That's three, one, that's three, one. So you're gonna hit that. Then you're gonna dash in again and hit two, two, one, three. That's gonna give you that combo. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that they buffed this combo. Or not buffed it, but they made your opponent come much closer so you don't have to dash in. But yeah, that'll be what you get. So you'll get this. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Brutality. Ah. Okay, that's this variation. All right, now, let's move on to the final variation, Scarred Apache. Okay, now, Scarred Apache. So this one isn't as strong as the previous two I've showed you guys, but what it lacks for, or what it lacks, it makes up for in strong neutral game, a mid arrow, and pff, honest damage pretty much, like, I don't know if you get mixed with by this variation. I really don't know what to tell you because there's like there's nothing like there there's no mix with this. There's like literally no mix, none at all. So let's go to abilities real quick. That that. Okay, so the main point in this variation, honestly, it's the buff. Yes, that's slow. It is. It's very slow to come out. I know. But 
Look at that, 93 versus, what's that? 107, let's amplify that bit. 117, and I'ma tell you, every combo you do, the bigger your combo, the more like extra damage you'll get. Like I did a, I remember I was running with Matoko Warrior one time, a while ago, one time. I got the buff, actually I got the amplified buff, and I did a basic regular combo with Nightwolf. It turned that 34, 33% combo into a 39% combo. I mean, I did use both bars because I had to amplify my rising tomahawk but in my buff, but regardless of that, that's still 39% for one bar. I don't care how you see it. So with this one, instead of having spirit tracks, you got shoulder charge. Now this you want to tick with. You want to tick this motherfucker with. You want to tick it. You want to tick a person. You want to do that. You want to do stuff like that. You want to do stuff like that. You want to catch them overhead low mid. Look at that. One, two, three. Oh, I messed up. Look at that. One, two, three, easy. Two, three, easy. So yeah, that's with this variation. So there's really no, I mean, there really isn't no combos, like no extra big combos I can show you because there's no combo starter. I mean, except for this. Other than that, yeah, how often are you gonna do back th back two? As a Nightwolf player, how often are you gonna do back two? Wow, I really suck with this move. I really suck with this move. I still suck with that move. But the good thing about this is, you, oops, I was too close. You do get this. You do get this KV. So you can pop that off, but honestly, really the only thing, only thing, that's like probably the best combo you'll get off, or best, most damage you'll get off with this variation. This too, because that's 28%. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, really, uh, other than that, there's really nothing else I can explain about this variation, that there really isn't. Like, there really isn't. Because there's really nothing special about this variation. Like, there, there really isn't. Like, I like it because it keeps me on the ground and I got the charge instead of having the tracks. And I can just amplify that whenever I feel like still punishable, but I can still amplify it. So that's really, that's really, that's really it. Really, that's, that's really all of this variation. So, in conclusion, oh yeah, let me say this too. Nightwolf is not a top tier character. I don't care what you see me do with him or anybody else with Nightwolf, and I make the shit look easy, I don't care. Nightwolf is not top tier. He could be low A tier, but in my opinion, homie is mid tier. He don't have no mix ups. I mean, yeah, that's a mid low, that's an overhead mid and that's a mid low but other than that the man doesn't have a low starter he does not have a low starter combo which i don't know why people block low on him when he doesn't have a low starter only thing i can hit you with low is this that's it that ain't even a low and i'm hitting you at the kneecap that should be a low at least at least make that a low like give him swear if you gave that to him as a low starter he would actually be A tier in my eyes after that. Cause that's a low, low, low. But like who else in this game has a low, low, low combo? Like I can pop that off so tough. Like man, I'm serious though. But yeah, in conclusion, in my opinion, this is the best Nightwolf variation to go with. It really is. Tomahawk swing cause you got the armor break and it has that crushing blow. Oh, and it comes with a brutality too. And you got spare tracks amplified which is good has it's a good move it's punishable but it has good spacing to where only some people can punish it correctly you also get a spirit track brutality oh that's how you do it wow i should have never looked at this because i was thinking i had to be below 30 percent health this whole time to do this brutality all i gotta do is hold down wow 
I'm about to Lieutenant Dan a lot of people in this game now. That sucks. They're not even about to see this anymore. They're about to see this. You ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Huh. But anyway, best variation to go with. Best. You got everything you could ask for in this variation. You have everything you could ask for in this variation. Look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. Look at the sauce. And then, this is my other favorite combo, too. I, I love this combo so much. You have, like, no freaking idea. I'm, I'm just going to show y'all exactly what happens. I did this on somebody, and the shit was hilarious. Because he really had nothing he could do. Oops. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Ooh, I messed that up. Ugh. Wait, is this combo possible? I don't think this combo is possible. I don't think this is possible. I don't think it's possible. For one, you ain't letting me do it, Nightwolf. Bruh. All right, last time. Okay, last time, for real, for real. For real, for real, last time. Okay, that combo does not work. That does not work. So what I was trying to do, because I thought it would give me more damage, is this. Bruh, Nightwolf. That's 45%. Easy. That is the combo I was trying to show. I think I was doing too much those first couple times. I'm pretty sure 1-3-1-3 one, three, one, three, down 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one into command throw does not work. Nah, that don't work. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Like I said, if you guys want a combo video, let me know. Because y'all mostly ask for a guide video, and I think of a guide video as a way for me to show you how the character works with their particular variations, the possibility you can do with their moves. But I'm not really going in depth with combos. Like, I just showed y'all, like, a few combos with each variation that you can do. But I can go more in depth and throw y'all an actual combo video. Just, if y'all want that, just let me know in the comment section. Like, for real, though. But I hope this I hope this helped y'all out in some kind of way. I hope this kind of gave y'all an idea of Nightwolf and whatnot. I mean, if y'all have seen me play, then y'all already have an idea as how he is in actual gameplay. But like, he's a really fun character. Like, he's really fun. I I love Nightwolf as a character, dog. Like, once I picked him up, I never dropped him. I never dropped him. Well, actually, no, I did. Let me stop. I dropped him for like a couple months. And then when uh, the third variations came out and I saw Shaman, it looked like a basic variation that didn't give off heavy damage. And it didn't. I think like the most damage it got off for one bar was like 27, 28%. And that's optimal. That was optimal for him back then. Now that then they buffed it when Aftermath came out. Then certain other people want to start using Nightwolf more and more and whatnot. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If there's anything you guys need me to elaborate on more, let me know in the comments. Or if you guys want me to make a video explaining something about Nightwolf, I definitely can do that as well. Just let me know in the comments. Hope y'all have a good day, evening, depending on whatever time I upload this video. And peace out. Y'all be easy.